Did you know a small Irish airport stood ready to rescue astronauts in crisis? NASA officially chose Shannon as a space shuttle emergency landing site. In the 1980s, NASA's space shuttle program needed global emergency landing sites in case launches went wrong. A vital safety network called Transoceanic Abort Landing was created, placing sites along shuttle flight paths. Shannon Airport became one key point. Shannon offered one of Europe's longest runways, open skies, and a perfect position beneath the shuttle's ascent arc. In 1984, the US and Irish government signed an official agreement to designate Shannon as a designated shuttle landing site. Secret documents detailed the joint preparations, runway checks, equipment lists, and safety protocols designed specifically for shuttle emergencies. NASA trained Shannon's fire crews for emergencies, firefighting trucks and rescue gear were upgraded to meet strict shuttle standards. Air traffic controllers learned how to quickly clear the skies and prepare for a shuttle's high-speed approach. Teams ran test drills, checking every meter of the 6,000-meter runway to guarantee the shuttle could land safely. Temporary shelters, medical stations, and emergency vehicles were positioned by the runway, even for overnight shuttle launches. Every shuttle mission from launch included constant communication with Shannon controllers, ready for the rare abort scenario. On STS-1, Shannon stood by as the westernmost safety net between space and disaster, watched closely by everyone at NASA. Each launch saw Irish airport crews glued to their monitors, prepared but hoping those rescue drills would never be tested. Thankfully, no shuttle ever had to make that desperate landing. But every launch day, the sense of redness was real. A crucial emergency plan that, thankfully, was never needed, a forgotten chapter of the space age on the Irish coast.